Come to me, signifying your desire to be united in marriage and keeping you with your request as you turn to one another. I ask you to join hands and give very careful thought to the questions that I ask you. George, <laughs> do you declare before these witnesses that you desire the woman whom you hold by the hands to be your lawful wedded wife? If so, say, I do. Do. Then will you repeat after me these words of promise? I, George, take you, Annie. I, George, take you, Annie. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish love and to cherish till death do us part till death do us part I do this day I do this day pledge you my love pledge you my love Annie 
Do you declare before these witnesses that you desire the man whom you hold by the hands to be your lawful wedded husband? If so, say, I do. I do. Then will you repeat after me these words of promise? I, Annie, take you, George. I, Annie, take you, George. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I do this day. I do this day. Pledge you my love. Pledge you my love. George, do you wish to seal your vows with the giving of a ring? I do. Annie, this ring is a gift to you. It is made of precious metal, signifying the precious nature of the relationship. It is also a continuous, never-ending line, a circle. It tells the story of the lifelong nature of the promise. George, take this token of your affection and place it on the third finger of Annie's left hand and holding it there, repeat after me these words. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. Annie, do you wish to seal your vows with the giving of a ring? I do. George, this ring is a gift for you. Wear it proudly. Whenever someone sees it on your hand, they'll, they'll understand the kind of man you are and the promises that you made this day. Annie, take this token of your love and place it on the third finger of George's left hand. Holding it there, repeat after me these words. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. So George and Annie, because you have made these promises to one another before these witnesses, but most importantly, before Almighty God. I now pronounce you husband and wife. And George, this is not the time to shake her hand. <laughs> My brother George, you may kiss your bride. Thank you.